Hi guys, P Tech. Welcome to the second Java game development tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to be looking at adding objects to the game and removing them uh, in the code instead of just right clicking and dragging on the screen. As as you can see now he's on the screen. If I click reset, bang, he's not any he's not there anymore. So let's not waste any time and let's begin. So let's go into our world class, which we call window. And we need to go into our constructor. Now I'm hoping you lot have already known a bit of Java before you come into the game development. But if you don't, you will still be able to learn it. So I've just got rid of all those comments. So in here, let's click add object. That basically means we are adding an object to the world. Now in brackets, now when you say new, because we're adding a new object to the world. And our class is called player. So player. With brackets and then we put a comma now the x coordinate and the y coordinates so um, let's just say a hundred that means a hundred from the left a hundred pixels from the left let's make it 200 pixels down so 200 from the top because x works from the left and y works from the top and then put a colon at the end and click compile and there we have our man a hundred in and 200 down Let's reset that and he's not going to disappear because we have already got that automatically adding an object to the world. So now let's go and remove an object. Now I'm just going to do a delay here so we can delay it for about um, five seconds. So greenfoot dot delay. We will look more into delay later in. So I was just typing 500 in here. And let's say, actually, you know what? I've got a better way of doing this. It wasn't going to work. So now we've added the new player. Let's go and add a variable called the type of variable is player. Let's call him man equals new player. So we're basically doing exactly the same what we've done here, but not adding the object, but making a variable. And instead of putting new player in here, let's type man because we've created a man object. A player object called man, and that's do exactly the same where we wait for a delay. 500, and it's exactly the same as add object but remove object. And we put man, and we do not need the y coordinate or the x coordinate. If we compile, oh, um, I see. Let's go. What we need to do here is we need to create an at method because what we are doing is we are in here it's just what it runs before it even runs. We are adding it and removing it. So in the at method, this is what happens when the um, program is running. So compile public void at file run. And we will see him disappear. Well, he should have done. Let me just see. I put 10 milliseconds in there. Yeah. Okay. So let's put that up to 100. I think 500 was a bit too long there. So wait. And there we go. He's disappeared after a while. So that is basically adding and removing objects. Now I've made a mistake this tutorial and hopefully you've learnt from it as well. Don't put remove object in the constructor of your world class because it will remove it before the world before the program has even been run and there will be no point in you even adding the object. So always put it in the act method. And what the act method does is it runs constantly while the program is being run. So that is adding and removing objects. Next tutorial we will be looking at moving an object. Thank you very much, be right tech.